Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie and this is Lilac Moon, my little baby girl. Hey, Lilac. Choo -choo. <laughs> well, maybe she'll look. Oh, there she goes. All right, so we're going to be continuing with our reading. This is our book, A Little Time for Myself. And it's a daily reflection. And today's date for the reading is July 16th. So grateful that you're here with me today. All right. So here we go. 16th. Okay. Page 198. If you're following along. And um, the idea of the kitten. I don't know what she's going to do. She's been kind of getting into things she shouldn't be, but she's a cat. All right, here we go. I work in the healthcare field, reading, reading this. Sometimes it's appropriate to discuss Al-Anon principles or even ask someone to consider attending Al-Anon, but I generally choose not to reveal my Al-Anon membership in my professional life. This is in keeping with the eighth tradition. We're talking about traditions the last couple of days. So today is the eighth tradition, which is, which says, Al-Anon, 12th step work should remain forever non-professional. Occasionally, I have seen people I know professionally at Al-Anon meetings. These chance encounters have felt natural to me, an opportunity to talk about Al-Anon at a time arranged by our higher powers. Right. So most importantly, I get to meet, I get to be a member in meetings, not a professional, right? We're not professionals, we're just members of Al-Anon. I can focus on my own recovery that's the focus of it, instead of helping others. In Al-Anon, I have a place to grow and change with no professional role whatsoever. Yum, tea. All right, so today's reminder. No, no matter my outside qualifications or experiences, in Al-Anon, I can never be anything more or less than a member of our fellowship. So um, there's a quote from the book, Hope for Today, one of the books that's a daily reflection that I've read all 365 days worth of, and it says, we are all equals, experts only in sharing our personal experience, our personal strength and our personal hope. Right, so then there's a, a question of the day, and then we'll say the serenity prayer if you want to hang out with me, and we'll say the prayer after that. And it says, how does leaving my professional status outside of the meetings help me connect with other Al-Anon members? I think it equalizes. It doesn't put me in a position of telling someone what I think they should do, because that's not what we're about. This is very autonomous, um, beautiful, boundary-driven program. There, like for me, I can just, I, I believe in my own higher power, whatever that is, and it can change. There's, there's no like dogmatic way I have to do anything except for I don't, um, when I say crosstalk, um, like, so say, for instance, we're in a meeting right now and I'm blah, blah, blah. I'm saying all this stuff right now. And then you'll go, Julie, this is what I think you should do. I, I know this worked for me. Da, 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 da. This is what you should do. And I'll be like, you know, I'm supposed to be trying to figure this out with my higher power. Like, 
as it inspires me through your shares, through your um, personal experience, strength, and hope. That's what meetings are for. And so that's what the books are for by reading this. This is someone's experience, strength, and hope in Al Anon. And as they say, you know, their share is I work in the healthcare field. And sometimes it's appropriate to discuss Al Anon or even ask someone to consider it. But I generally choose not to reveal my Al Anon membership in my professional life to keep with the eighth tradition, which is Al Anon 12th step work should remain forever non professional. So it's not like you're, I think that's why well, I did have a therapist um, and she, we, I talked about the 12 steps with her, but she wasn't telling me I needed to do the 12 steps. No one actually did. I had some strong suggestions because I was desperate. And I said, try, why don't you, you know, why don't you try that? And I was like resistant to it because I'm like, I had my preconceived ideas of it. I didn't want to have to, you know, I didn't want to do anything anymore. I just wanted it to stop. I wanted my, my uh, miserable life to stop, you know, and but that doesn't help. It's, it works for me, like, and for many people in Illinois, you have to do the work. You have to do the work to stop your own miserable life one day at a time. And so that's it. All right. So, um, all right. So let's say the serenity prayer and, um, my baby. So God grant us the serenity to accept the things we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can and the wisdom to know the difference. All right. I love you. And I will see you God willing tomorrow with another reading. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps other people find this channel. We're slowly but surely getting more people here and so grateful for that i never expected it i just figured well i'm just gonna come i'm gonna show up i'm gonna read for myself and i'm gonna share it and it helps me because i get to listen to it at any time of the day and i can start my day at any time too so just with the prayer or listening to the reading or reading it or going to meeting any of those things so I love you and I will see you, God willing, tomorrow with another reading. All right. Say bye, bye, bye.